so we're just going to come to a stop here. Oops. Fall, fell. Okay. Right. Okay. So we're going to, we're actually going to create that bow wave we spoke about earlier here. On this section, we get a bit more control. So into second gear. Okay. So when we when we come when we go into the water, nice and positive on the accelerator. We don't want any sort of aggressive accelerating because all it's going to do is the water's going to go everywhere. It's going to be coming over. We're looking for that bow wave. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Right. Should appear just past this dead tree on the left. Okay. Okay, so nice and positive. Right. Okay, on the throttle now. More, okay, more power. That's it. You balance that throttle. Balance that throttle. So there's your wave you clear in front of you now. Don't let it get away. And that's what you're looking for. Balance that throttle. Off the throttle now and just relax. And that's the sort of technique you're looking for, okay? So, even when you're driving your Range Rover through water, and that's what you're looking for is to balance it. Bring it over to the left to touch. Okay, we're going to go right. And bring it round, it goes round to the left. That's good. And we're going to stop at the base. A bit further round. A bit more. Okay. So we're nice and straight on. Okay, so stop there. So this time, we're going to have a go at failure to climb through stall. Okay, okay so we're going to stall the vehicle basically, we're going to recover it. Okay, um, so what I want you to do is, I'm going to go in second gear, I want you to stall the car manually, okay. or bend your foot on the brake. Okay. It gives, gives us a bit more control over the vehicle. Okay. Okay, so just get up like halfway and then just hold the brake yeah. until it, the yeah. engine cuts out. Yeah, we'll cut it out. Okay. okay, so you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Not quite what you meant, right? No. Not quite. <laughs> okay, so into second gear. Right. Okay, both hands on the wheel. Okay, let's go. Think about your clutch balancing. Bring it up to the bite. That's it. Off the brake. Off the clutch. That's it. Slight bit of acceleration. So, demonstrating the fail to climb. So, no clutch on this. Okay. Okay. Let's keep your wheel nice and straight. Okay. And brake, brake, brake. Hold it on the brake. Don't take your foot off that brake. So we've stalled the vehicle. So we're going to select reverse. So you have to dip the clutch. Select reverse. Okay. Clutch up. Both hands on the wheel. Slowly release the brake to make sure we've achieved that reverse gear, mm -hmm. which we have. Yep. Happy with that? Oh, yeah. Good. Good. So a little bit more. That's perfect. Back on the brake. Just cover the brake. So we need to turn the ignition off now. Okay. So we're going to use our wing mirrors to go back. Okay, so as soon as you start the car, come off the brake and use your wing mirrors to reverse the vehicle. Go. Off the brake completely. Left pedal, left hand down, left hand down. Okay, bring the car to a stop, brake and clutch. Textbook. Perfect. Cool. So this time we're going to make the climb. Okay. Okay, so into second gear. Go, it goes up and it goes round to the right and okay. plateau. Alright. Ready, ready. Okay. Okay. okay, so we're going to come to a stop, brake and clutch. Select first gear for me. Okay. Before you commit yourself, qualify that that is first gear by moving the vehicle forward. Happy with that? Okay, let's out. Clutch up first, that's perfect. Again, you can do a little bit of sympathy braking as you start to descend. The, bit of the car needs to go around, just turn to the left. Really, yeah, 
barely even need to brake, yeah. really. <laughs> Here's my backpack. This okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit of shunting here. So the vehicle's more than capable of actually climbing up there and doing the turn. But we, <laughs> sure. yeah, we try and look after the tracks and the, the environment as much as we can. Okay. So, first we're going to do is we're going to select reverse gear. So, a little bit of dry steering for me. And all the way in the Half turn, perfect, that's okay. perfect. Now hold it there. So, same as before, bring the clutch up to the bite. Okay, hold it there. So bring the clutch up to the bite. Yep. Okay, so just use your brake pedal there. You can just see how much control you've got over the car. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So, Select first gear. Is that first or reverse? It felt like first, but no. That's what it felt like. Okay, yeah. A bit of correct, that's it. Good. Okay. okay, same control before, clutch up, and then just slowly up the brake. That's perfect, textbook stuff. And just move the vehicle forward. Even leaving it in first gear, it's no big drama, you can just use the engine as braking as well. And as we're making our way through the tracks, you're doing a dynamic risk assessment, so you're looking at the tracks, you know, you're making progression all the time. Come back to the right, please. Friend flying into Birmingham? London. London. Uh, just be cautious, there might be other vehicles coming down, so we're going to go off to the right. too quick just on the brake a little bit just to slow it down that's it and we'll make following the track around to the right hand side I feel you're having to work pretty hard in this aren't you yeah that's <laughs> great we're going to go straight ahead. You can see what I mean now, it's quite an engaging vehicle. Yeah. And I think that's why people love them, because, I mean, for me, I'm out of a five defenders myself. <laughs> and uh, they're basically, they're a classless vehicle. You can go anywhere in the world in one of these cars. Yeah. There's not many other cars where people saw sort of say, oh, that's a Defender. I mean, you've got like the DeLorean, you've got the, you know, the Volkswagen camper vans, and people recognize them. Yeah. See, it feels like everything's moving a bit quick, okay, with the steering and the speed of the car. Mm. So if you all drive like a little bit like Miss Daisley, <laughs> and it just slows everything down and gives you more control, gives you time to think sure. and look at the obstacles in front of us. I mean, we're really fortunate to have this sort of environment as well here. In the middle of the factory. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's the funny part. Is yeah. it looks like we're in the jungle, but yeah. we're surrounded we're by factory, rocks. making high-tech aluminum vehicles. And we stopped building Defend uh, it's about two years now. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that was, uh, it's quite a strange. Day. I've been here about 23 years myself. I've worked in manufacturing for 15 of those years. Left. Left here, please. 
So we'll do is we'll start to make our way back in and we'll change vehicles. Sounds great. Happy to do that. directly over to the car park, we're going to go through uh, down one of our tracks first to get to the car park, that's right. So, slow down here. Yeah, it's okay. So, if we was going on the high grip surface like this for a good distance, we definitely want to come out of low range, but it's only a very short distance we're going to. Oh, okay. So, just follow the road forward. Make sure you don't turn these guys. 